Hey y'all, good morning. I hope everyone's day is starting out really well. I recently got my hands on a few of the new launches from Pure, including the new Bear It All Foundation, which I have been desperately wanting to try out. I've seen some pretty good reviews on it from YouTubers that I very much respect, like Serene Wu, love her channel, and she really liked the foundation. So I really wanted to get my hands on it for Cruelty Free Foundation Friday. So I did, I got the uh, Bear It All Foundation, the new No Filter Primer, and then their new brush that it's like an artiste brush the skin perfecting foundation brush for face and body today we're mostly going to focus on the bear it all foundation i'm going to apply it on camera kind of first impression then i'm going to take you throughout my day to see how it wears it does say it's 12 hours so i'm really looking forward to that i have a dentist appointment so that will be fun so so far i have only swatched the no filter primer basically what this is and i'm very excited for it is a cruelty free strobe cream from mac and i could not be happier about that today however i'm just going to go with a primer that I know and I love. It's not mattifying, it's not illuminating, it's not pore filling, it's just a basic primer that I know how it performs very well. So until I really grasp this foundation and how it works best, I'd rather stick with that. Um, that way there's not too many variables up in the air. And by the way, that was the Cover FX Calming Primer. Love it, highly recommend it. Just a very basic primer. And then Pure did come out with two new brushes. This is the larger one of the two. They also have a little concealer brush as well. And those are the only toothbrush style brushes I've ever used, these smaller versions. So I am I'm a little bit intimidated by this, but we are going to try it on one half of the face today. Personally, I'm, I'm a sponge person. I'm a beauty sponge person, but... It, I'm very impressed by the softness of this. Um, I did go ahead and wash it. I always wash my brushes and sponges the first time I open them when I get them. But oh my God, I could just do this all day. It is so incredibly soft. And it is synthetic hair too, which is awesome. And now for the star of the show, the Bear It All Foundation. This does come in a squeeze tube, which I've recently learned I prefer. I used to always prefer my pump foundations, but recently I just, all the foundations that come in squeeze tubes, I've been preferring. I guess it's because I can dispense the exact amount that I want. So this does come in 10 shades, and a lot of times you see 10 shades or 12 shades, but they're all from like fair to like light medium or medium. They do have quite a few deeper options. It looks like a varied shade range, which is good. Um, it is $39 available on Ulta.com and also on Pure.com. And I am very happy to announce that this is not only cruelty free, but it is vegan as well. I know trying to find vegan foundations can be a bit difficult. And it is also gluten free and paraben free. So I personally went with the third lightest shade, which is Blush Medium. That is the exact same shade as pretty much everything I wear in Pure Minerals. The powder foundation, I'm the same shade. When I got it, and I was a little bit worried about this when I ordered it too, I think it's going to be a little bit dark for me. Hopefully it'll work. I don't think it's so dark that it's really going to be that noticeable, you know, to wear or to work or to the dentist office like I am today. And I think we'll still be able to get a good review out of it. Um, in a way, I'm actually kind of glad it's a hint too dark because now that we're coming out of winter, this is the lightest I'll ever be. I have plenty of light foundations. I need some good spring summer foundations. So luckily this will match me as time goes on throughout the year. So I'm not bummed about it, but I just wanted to kind of make y'all aware that this may be a little bit dark on me today. So that's pretty much it. Let's just get into it. Like I said, the only thing that I've done to prep my skin is my Cover FX Calming Primer. I did add that to my entire face. I'm guessing I will go concealer and correct are free. A lot of times I do like to color correct my melasma, but I guess I want to gauge how well the coverage is on this. It's very, very tough to cover, so I'm not going to knock it if it can't because I don't think even like Estee Lauder Maximum Cover Double Wear can cover up these dark spots, but um, in the future I will traditionally always add a color corrector before I do my foundation. And I am going to give it a go with the new brush on one side of my face, and then I also have my sponge here ready to go that is yeah, it exploded on me one day, but I'm too cheap to throw it away because it works perfectly fine.
Well, I will say this much. I definitely understand now why people say this is so much quicker with these large brushes because it does. It's like a couple of swipes and it's all over your face. So that is one layer uh, with brush on this. Oh, wow, that, that actually does provide some pretty good coverage there. Look at my dark spots on my forehead. Hmm. And it does not look cakey from what I can see. I usually get cakiness mostly down on this lower half of my face. Uh, that looks pretty good. Color, um, color is still is a little bit dark for me. Yeah, you can tell it's a little bit dark, but that will match me as I get darker in the summer. So that's actually okay with me. Well, I am impressed so far. So let's give it a go with my Real Technique sponge on this side. We definitely have more sheer coverage, which obviously that is to be expected with a sponge. What I think I would like best is to do my initial application with the brush and then just kind of fine tune it, go over it at the end with the sponge. I'm actually very impressed by how that looks on my skin. I have very finicky skin. It's troubled. I feel like it hates me sometimes. I know I hate it sometimes. You know, I look in the mirror sometimes and I just hate I hate the way my face looks and uh, that's a crappy place to be but um, I do I'm really liking the way that looks so if this holds up well throughout the day for me combating my natural oils doesn't break down etc then this will be a good daily foundation for me and that is a light second layer in the places where I feel like I needed it the most and I did try to blend down my neck I don't think it's horrible from what I'm seeing in the viewfinder maybe in editing it'll look different that right there over my melasma that is some pretty good coverage for me. It really is. Especially, I did not add any color correctors or concealers before this, which is something I typically do when I'm trying to go for super full coverage. I did not add any, so I know a light layer of a peachy corrector and you probably couldn't see any of it. I'm really happy so far, I really am. So I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. I'm trying to decide what I should set this with. I'm going back and forth between the Kat Von D translucent powder or the Cinema Secrets one. Thinking maybe Kat Von D. That way I don't adjust the color or anything. I don't know, I'll figure it out and I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back and unfortunately I, I need to get on the road. My dentist called and asked if I could come in early, which is fine with me, get it over and done with. So basically all I did, very, very simple makeup. This is my Pan That Palette eyeshadows and uh, I, I just set it with the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder, the original one in translucent, not the under eye setting powder. I didn't like that. I took it back and um, I don't know, the original Lock It is just a very simple, generic regular old setting powder so it shouldn't really affect anything and it didn't change the color or anything like that which I really needed actually I needed something light to change the color but I don't really have it um, you can tell now it's a little bit too dark but um, we can still test it throughout the day and in the future that's a good thing as we go through spring and summer I'll have a foundation that matches me it's kind of like a good combination it's not super super matte it's not gonna like dry me out emphasize my dry patches that I have but it's also not luminous dewy finish that I feel like greasy it's not gonna break down on me hopefully it's not that's the impression that I get so it's like a good happy medium for me just like a good everyday basic foundation so I'm happy about about that but I do need to get going I'm gonna go to my dentist appointment and then I'll check in with you when I'm leaving there all right hey y'all I'm back from the most painful dental cleaning I've ever experienced in my life I was this close to asking for those damn lidocaine shots and those things hurt worse than an actual dental procedure have you ever seen those needles by the way when they give them to you they're like they're like that long um, super super nice dental hygienist oh that hurt um, not trying to shit talk her right now but oh my god she hurt me she really did anyway so it is 123 so I've had this on for like two and a half hours I guess 
my I, I'm like in pain right now I'm also hungry and so my brain's not working and everything everything looks great everything looks the same funny enough the dental hygienist was actually kind of talking to me about makeup she was like are you going anywhere after this that we're, we're gonna get water on you it's gonna ruin your foundation and I was like actually I'm testing this out today so do your worst to it so we are a couple hours into the day and everything looks perfectly fine in fact I almost feel like it looks a little bit better elsewhere besides where I got water um, than it did at the beginning of the day I feel like it's really like warmed up to my skin really become cohesive um, I can't feel it on my skin at all and that's something that's really important to me I hate makeup that I can like that I can feel you know I always feel it like in my cheeks or some in those little lines I hate it when I can feel it so everything is is looking good so far I am gonna go eat I want Panera and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all, I keep wanting to say good morning, but it is not, it is 4.13 p.m. I just happened to take a nap after I ate lunch after my dentist appointment. So I've had this foundation on between five and six hours. It honestly has not changed one bit, so I completely believe that it would hold up to the 12 hour claim. I just feel like I feel like I have a pretty good idea. I think it's good enough. I think I'm going to end it here. Mostly because, one, I just feel like it's not going to change. I'm very confident. I have a great idea of how this is going to wear and look throughout the day. And two, I really want to film tonight, which means I need to go like wash my face and start over and redo. Because, frankly, because I can't wear a foundation that's off one freaking shade or I'll get crucified in the comments. And I just don't want to have to deal with explaining it all. It's just ridiculous to have to, to begin with. So this is how the bear it all foundation looks after about five and a half six hours of wear after getting water all over my face after stuffing my face and then after face planting into a pillow for about an hour and a half and I'm incredibly impressed to be honest with you I have not blotted once I mean you can't really blot when you're asleep but yeah I have not blotted once haven't applied powder haven't touched up I have done literally nothing and okay like yes I'm a little bit dewy but a lot of that is lighting too so that's part of it um, this is nothing. I am an incredibly oily skinned person. Like this, this is nothing. I am so impressed. The coverage still looks really good. Down here, especially where they got water and like they were, you know, they took x-rays, they were touching my face, stuff like that, moving my lips and my jaw around. It did get a little, um, I don't even know if patchy is the right word for it. It just kind of wore off a little bit. And then I had this one spot right here, which is drying up, that got a little bit. It just kind of clung to my dry spots a little bit. And that's it. So the Pure Bear It All gets my stamp of approval. I'm happy with it so far. But let me know if you've tried it, what your thoughts were. Did you try a sample? Did you pick it up? Love it? Hate it? Did you find your shade? Let us know down in the comments below. Obviously, I want it to be a resource for anyone looking for reviews on this product. You know, let us know what your skin type was, what your opinion was, etc. It's going to be a help to someone looking for information. And other than that, I'll see y'all in two days in my next video. Don't ever forget, it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. I love y'all very much. Kick ass out there today, ladies. Have a wonderful day at work or school or wherever you are. Love y'all. Bye.